Hello dear students. Uh, in this lesson I will talk about cell division, mitosis and meiosis. Now let us start by explaining and solving the questions which they are related uh, to cell division, mitosis and meiosis. We have these six questions and we have a and b okay we have two choices two options mitotic cell division and we have meiotic cell division before reading the questions okay uh, we have to know that mitotic cell division is a process of dividing all of the cells in our body okay or we can say all somatic cells which includes our skin cells, uh, our kidney cells, uh, all of the cells in our body, our liver cells and our hairs, all the cells, okay, except sex cells or except gametes. Meiotic cell division is a process of dividing cells only for sex cells, okay, or we can say uh, the process of forming egg and sperm are occurring by the meiotic cell division and the differences between them uh, this one difference that I mentioned uh, in which type of cells are occurring and when we come to the mitotic it's just one round of division okay we have four stages uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. While in meiotic, we have uh, two rounds of division of the cells. Okay, and another point that's very important for us in mitotic, identical cells will be formed. For example, if a cell has 46 chromosomes, okay, then it will divide and the new form cells. It contains again it contains 46 chromosomes but in meiotic there will be two rounds of division so the number of the chromosomes it will be half okay for example if a cell it contains 46 chromosomes then the sex cells like egg and sperm each one it contain 23 chromosomes so meiotic cell division also it can be regarded as reduction cell division because the number of the chromosomes it will be half or we can say it will be reduced now let us read the question that we have the human liver can be induced to regenerate when liver cells become damaged and need to be replaced so we know that human liver is a somatic cell, is a body cell. So this process occurs by the mitotic cell division. So we will write A, okay, mitotic cell division. An embryo grown into a fetus and then a baby during nine months of gestation period. So embryo is formed after the fertilization of the egg by the sperm so the egg that contains 23 chromosomes will be fertilized by a sperm that contains 23 chromosomes and both of them they form zygote then that zygote will divide and will form embryo okay so the embryo will divide and will form a baby by the process of mitosis. So we will write here mitosis. Okay. Uh, that's it. Human males begin to produce sperms at puberty. So as you see sperm is regarded as a sex cell. So it's produced by the process of meiosis so the answer for this question is b or meiotic cell division a fertilized ovum okay or a fertilized egg we can say uh, or we can say uh, when the egg is fertilized or when the ovum is fertilized it means 
we are mentioning zygote okay the first cell of our body that's formed undergoes rapid cell division immediately after it's fertilized by a sperm so when the zygote is formed okay uh, it will enter into the process of mitosis by the process of mitosis the cells will divide and billions of the cells will be formed so the answer for the question is a which it is mitotic cell division when we have a cut on your skin and it heals so the process of healing it means the process of dividing cells forming new cells and replacing the old cells okay uh, as a result this process will be uh, done by the mitotic cell division so the answer for the question is a again okay a cancerous tumor grows larger so cancer it may be occurring all of the cells in our body in any kind of the cell in any organ okay and that cancer cell will divide divide and divide and millions of that cancer cells will be formed and if you will define the cancer you know that um, it is uncontrolled cell division and control it cell division okay uh, how these cells are dividing by the process of mitosis so the answer for this question again we will write a it means mitosis okay so that's about the mitosis and meiosis i hope all they are clear for you and just you have to know that uh, meiotic or meiosis is uh, related to the production of egg of egg and sperm or we can say generally related to the sex cells now let us look to the question number seven it says which of the following does not occur by mitosis process sorry guys so we have growth growth it, it's happening uh, by the mitosis process okay so uh, and the question said which of the following does not so uh, by mitosis mitosis growth occurs production of gametes or sex cells or egg and sperm it's not uh, done by the mitosis it's happening by the process of meiosis so the answer for the question is b but we have to read the others okay repairing when you have a wound or when you have an injury in any part of your body it will be replaced and the cells will divide and they will form new cells by the process of mitosis again development of an embryo when the egg is fertilized then it goes through the mitosis process cleavage for a uh, forms in animal cell and this is happening by the mitosis process so the answer for the question is b which, which it is production of gametes here we have uh, this picture the cell we have okay uh, the question asks it says how many chromosomes are in the cell okay so as you see guys we have one two we have two chromosomes okay so the answer for the question is b but how many chromatids do we have in question number nine it asks us how many chromatid so we know that chromatid uh, or a chromat is a half of duplicated chromosome okay so each one of these are each one of these these are is regarded as a duplicated chromosome so and each duplicate chromosome is made up of two chromatids one two and this is one two so generally how many chromatids do we have in this cell we have four chromatids okay if we will talk about human cells guys how many chromosomes do we have during normal condition we have 46 chromosomes 
okay but how many chromatids do we have when the cells going through the mitosis process at that time you will have 92 chromatids okay so we have to pay attention and we have to know what are the chromosomes and what are the chromatids when the chromosomes are duplicated guys okay when they are duplicated to each half of the duplicate part we call it chromatid okay i hope it's clear now let us move to the question 10 in which stage in the life of a cell the nucleolus visible so guys as we know that uh, when the cell enters to the stages of mitosis like prophase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinase, uh, the nucleus it will be broken down and it starts during the prophase. Okay, during prophase, the nucleus will be broken down and it will be degenerated. So, when it will be appeared again or when we can see it during the process of during the interface interface is a stage of the cell cycle which it includes g1 s and g2 the cell all the cells in our body they spend most of the time of their life in the interface stage which it is like a normal state that the cells can carry out their function okay so during interface we can see the nucleolus so the answer for the question is interface okay as i told you uh, it includes the first three stages of the cell cycle which they are g1 s and g2 as you know that during g1 during g1 the number of the number of organelles will be increased or will be replicated we can say and the cell will increase in size okay so during s phase it means synthesis phase in which dna will be duplicated and during g2 phase we have the additional growth and the cell will for example uh, will satisfy its needs okay maybe it needs to increase some of the organelles the number of some organelles okay or maybe it needs to be something larger in size and you what you after that if all of these situations are correct and perfect for the cell in order to be divided then the cell will enter into the fourth stage of the cell cycle which it is mitosis and mitosis is made up of four stages which is prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase during each stage of this uh, cell cycle of these stages we have events that relate to each of those stages and that's about the mitosis just i wanted to remind you uh, briefly really it's so complex process uh, and very important process for our body which of the following is not found in plant cells so guys as we see the answers as we can find we have cleavage photo so cleavage for what's it guys that's not found in plant cell and if i want to explain for you for example we have a cell okay this is a cell and it's the nucleus of the cell but it is animal cell okay in animal cells when the animal cells undergo the process of cell division they will increase in size okay as i told you and uh, during g1s and g2 phase the cell will increase in size then it will enter into the process of mitosis so when all the processes are done and uh, and in the mitosis process the prophase one uh, prophase metaphase anaphase telophase will be completed then the cell will enter into the process of cytokinase that it should be divided or separated okay when all the process of the mitosis uh, 
uh, done, then the cells should be separated. So how it will divide into two cells? It will form a cleavage, okay, in the middle. Or let me draw here. Uh, it will be like this. Yes, I have to raise this part. Sorry, guys. I will draw it again. Uh, how the how it will be separated? It is like this. A cleavage furrow will be formed in the middle. Okay. Uh, and you know that already the nucleus is divided and it becomes two nuclei. Okay. And finally, the cell will divide in the middle this is the process of cell division okay which in animal cell which it is done uh, by forming this cleavage okay in the middle while you know that in plant cells we have cell wall this is a plant cell okay there are primary cell walls secondary cell wall and these cell walls are rigid okay it's like so difficult for the cell to form a cleavage like we it likes formed in animal cells it will not be formed in plant cells so how the cell will be separated uh, how that cell will be divided instead of this cleavage furrow there we have cell plate okay the cell plate will be formed in the middle and these two cells will move apart and become two cells so we don't have cleavage flow in plant cell while we have cell plate as you know that what's what you mean by the cell plate middle lamella you know that what do you mean by middle lamella centromere centromere uh, if you remember that centromere is like the part of the chromosome okay you know the chromosome is made up of two parts short arm and long arm this is short arm and this is long arm okay the part here in which the two parts are joined we called it centromere this is centromere okay we have centromere in all of the eukaryotic chromosomes while the end part just for your information we called it telomeres which they are important for protection of our chromosomes okay the end part of the uh, chromosomes we called it telomere we have them in plants and animal cells in plant chromosome and in animal chromosomes chromatid we have chromatids guys in plants and animals when the cells when the chromosomes are duplicated or replicated then the half of each duplicated chromosome we call it chromatid so the answer for the question is cleavage furrow okay b we don't have it in plant cell let us move to the question 12 In this question, guys, as you see, we have 12 chromosomes, okay, in a cell at the beginning of meiosis. The process is meiosis, we have to know that. How many chromosomes will it have at the end of meiosis? So, as I told you, meiosis is a reduction division process, okay? If a cell contains 46 chromosomes, like we have 46 in all of the cells in our body, okay, uh, or we can see in most of the cells in our body, okay. So when uh, when the egg and sperms form it, okay, you know that sperm contains 23, and egg it contains 23 okay so how this number is decreased into 23 by the process of meiosis okay because meiosis will decrease the number of the cells into into half because in meiosis we have two rounds of the cell division so if we have a cell that contains 12 chromosomes okay by the process of meiosis it will be how many chromosomes at the end Half of 12 is 6. So the answer for the question is 
six chromosomes. Again, we have a cell that it contains 12 chromosomes, okay? But the process is mitosis. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I told you in mitosis process, uh, the number, the new, new form of cell, they are completely identical to the old cell. Or the number of the chromosomes, they will stay as it is. It will not change, okay? So how many chromosomes we will have at the end of the mitosis? We will have 12, okay? Because the process is mitosis. Here we have all of the following are true of meiosis, meiosis in plants, except so all they are true, just one of them. We have crossing over. Yes, guys, we know that we have crossing over in plants and in animals. Okay, uh, just for reminding you, crossing over the exchange of segment of chromosomes okay that's happening during prophase one so we have crossing over there is no replication of chromosomes between minus one and minus two yes we don't have uh, there's no replication of chromosomes between minus one and minus two yes the uh, chromosomes already are replicated in minus one so it doesn't need to be replicated between the two stages of meiosis, okay? So it's true. Spindle fibers are attached to the centrioles. As we mentioned that, uh, the main difference between plant cell and animal cell, in plant we don't have centrioles. Also, we don't have lysosomes, okay? So you have to know that. We don't have centrioles in plants, so the answer for the question is C. But let us read the others. We have synapses, as we have crossing over. Also, we have synapses during the prophase stage. Homologous pairs of chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate in meiosis 1. Yes, the homologous chromosomes, uh, they will be lined uh, on the equator or during metaphase stage. Or, uh, or in in the metaphase plate, we can say in meiosis one. This is true. Even for uh, animals, say the same thing will happen. Uh, but pay attention. The process is meiosis. Okay. So as I told you, we don't have centrioles uh, in plants. So the spindle fibers are attached to the centrioles. This is not true. Okay. So the answer for the question is. C for this question. Now let's move to question 15 till 18. Okay, we have four questions. It says match the event of mitosis. Okay, with the stages listed below. So we have these figures. Okay, which it is mitosis process. Now let us see question 15. It says, which stage is metaphase 1 of mitosis? So guys, as uh, we see that, uh, which stage is metaphase 1 of meiosis? Meta in metaphase 1 or during meiosis 1, uh, we know that, especially during metaphase, homologous chromosomes will be arranged in the equator of the cell or in the middle plate of the cell, okay? But in double files. As we see that, uh, D is appropriate that we can see uh, the chromosomes, uh, homologous chromosomes, are arranged in the middle, okay, or in the equator of the cell, in the metaphase plate. So the answer for the question is D. Now let us come to the question uh, 16. Uh, it says which stage is metaphase 2? So it's happening during me meiosis 
two. Okay, in which the homologous chromosomes uh, they are like uh, separated, and we can see them in single files. Okay, as you see that here the homologous chromosome that they are pairing, uh, they are in single file. They are not like this. Okay, because they are in metaphase two. Which stage is anaphase 2? As we say, as we know that in anaphase 2, sister chromatids will be separated. Okay, uh, while in anaphase 1, um, homologous chromosomes will be separated. So, in which stage we can see uh, their separation of sister chromatids? Uh, it is actually stage B. Okay. During B, here, we, as we see that for question number 17, the still chromatids are separated. Uh, for question number 16, sorry, I didn't mention it, but it is E, okay? Or I can write here 16, okay? And this is for question number 15. Which stage shows non-disjunction? So we know that the non-disjunction is the failure of homologous chromosomes to separate correctly during meiosis process. So as we can see, it's very clear uh, in figure A that here in this part, the chromosomes are not separated like this part. Okay, so this is non-disjunction occur. Uh, the answer for the question is A. Okay, that's the reason that causes many diseases, many syndromes. Okay, also I can write here 18. Okay, so I hope all they are clear about the stages and the figures that we have. Now let us move to the question. This question says, chromosomes replicate during which stage? So guys, we know that chromosomes are replicating during S phase, okay, of the cell cycle. You know that the cell cycle, in cell cycle we have four stages, okay? It starts by G1, then we have S phase. After that, we have G2, and finally, we have mitosis and cytokinesis. Then the cell will enter into the G1 phase, okay, in order to be divided. Mitosis, as you know that, it's made up of four stages, like prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, during G1, as I told you, during G1 stage, the cell will increase in size and replicate its organelles. It's like the preparing stage for the cell to be divided. While during S phase, okay, the DNA or the chromosomes will be replicated. Okay, DNA or we can say chromosomes will be duplicated duplicated okay or replicated and during g2 there will be additional growth but an important thing that you have to know that g1 s and g2 all together they are regarded as interface okay so as you see s phase in which dna is duplicated or replicated is happening during interface stage. So the answer for the question is A, which it is interface. Guys, here we have two questions. In the first question, it asks for the cell that has ability to divide indefinitely, okay? So the cells will divide indefinitely and it has ability to differentiate. That's very important. We know that differentiation is the specialization of cells in structure and in function. 
So we have these choices. So we have cyclins. We know that cyclins are uh, internal factors for regulating cell cycles. Okay, divisible cells. Yes, cells are dividing, but they are not differentiating. Okay, uh, different the cell that they have able to divide indefinitely and to differentiate they are stem cells so the answer for the question is stem cell we know that stem cells are cells that they have ability to divide for long long period of time and they have able to able to differentiate to any type of the cells and at the same time they will retain their originality okay uh, internal factors and external factors are factors for regulating the cell cycle okay so the answer for the question is stem cell it means uh, C here we have question number 19 it says chromosomes become visible for the first time during which stage uh, as we can see in the uh, images or in the pictures of uh, process of mitosis the chromosomes will be visible during the prophase stage because during prophase or during the beginning of the mitosis the chromosomes will be coiled and condensed okay during the mitosis stage all the stage the chromosomes will be visible we can see them otherwise it's in the form of chromatin during interface stage which it's like thread like structure and it's loosely organized but during prophase it will be condensed okay uh, these are the last two questions uh, question number 20 already we discussed it we said that uh, chromosomes replicate during which stage which it is interface because interface includes g1s and g2 and during s phase the chromosomes will be replicated so guys that's the end of this uh, the end of this chapter which is about cell division mitosis and meiosis if you have any questions you can write in the comments below or you can contact me thank you so much